everyone. It is a new week. It is also Tuesday. Um, I'm working on edits for Sedona Serenity. It comes out on Monday, so I am in like this horrible deadline hell. So sorry that I didn't get the video posted sooner. But today I finally got a minute to like brush my hair <laughs> so that I didn't scare you guys. And I did have my primary guide, Morgan, my pendulum. Um, she pulled the cards for us for this week. I'm pretty sure they all say, finish your book, Lisa. But let's see what we got. <laughs> okay. First up, <clears throat> the five of cups. So cups is the element of water. And this is minor arcana. So this is aspects of us. It goes in a cycle from ace to 10. And the five, you can see she's looking at these cups here that have spilled. And she's got two full cups behind her. The thing about the five of cups is this is often the morning card. We're, we're grieving over something that we've lost instead of focusing on what we still have. So this week, if you are struggling with, it could be a personal loss. It could be um, grief. It could also be uh, something that you thought you were going to get and it didn't come through. This card is calling on us to put that behind us because it is time to focus on gratitude for what we still have. That is the thing that always um, helps when waves of grief come on. I have certainly had a lot of death in my family um, this past year. And for me anyway, it is always a great reminder that I am so lucky that I had them in my life in the first place. And that usually drives the grief away because I, I really am, it's, it's a blessing. Um, so I hope that helps you out there. All right, next one, the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, what are the chances of that? So <laughs> the Six of Cups is the nostalgia card. So you can see she's with her younger self here and see every flower is blooming in every cup. The thing about the nostalgia card is it's a nudge from spirit that we can't live in yesterday and we're probably not remembering yesterday as realistic as it was. We always look back with rose colored glasses. You know, that ex-boyfriend was so wonderful. We forget that, you know, the whole reason we broke up was he was horrible. Um, so if you are, and these two do go together because what happens when you look at what you lost, you remember all the perfect times. You don't remember the times that perhaps it wasn't as great as you remember. Um, so this card is calling us to not live in yesterday, live in today. All right. And oh my gosh, they're all cups. Last week, I'm pretty sure it was last week, they were all wands to go get our stuff done. This week, we're all dealing with some feelings. All right, so the three of cups is all about friendship. No matter what deck, it always has three friends with their cups up in the air. I love the Mystic Dreamer deck. They have their cup up to a rainbow. This card is all about that love that you have for friends. Friendship love is one of the most true. <laughs> they are with you through thick and thin. And so this week, reach out to them. I know we're all still dealing with the plague and staying inside, but we have Zoom, we have phones, we have FaceTime. You know, reach out to your friends and let them know how much they mean to you and how grateful you are to have them in their in your life. These really do, the cards this week, I mean, they are all Cups cards, so they're all our heart, but they really do go together. So don't grieve over what you've lost. Be grateful for what you've had. And then don't live too long in the past because probably not remembering it right. And finally, celebrate with your friends this week. Let them know they matter and that you're so grateful that you have them in your life. And then I did have Morgan pull one oracle card for the week to help us with the energy for the week. And this is from my Wisdom of Avalon deck. Oh, nice. And we got the swan. This is the card of transformation. And the thing about the swan is it's always a beautiful transformation. So I feel like this week, if you can get through this grief over what you've lost or what didn't turn out the way you had hoped, you really are going to grow from this experience and you're going to spread your wings and be a new swan. So be show some gratitude for the changes that are coming. Don't forget, don't live in the past. You're probably not remembering it correctly anyway, all right? And finally, the Three of Cups, celebrate with those friends. 
friendship can lead to transformation as well. So this is going to be a transformative week with lots of feelings. I'm wearing my Rocky shirt because I'm going to go finish these edits today and send the book to the formatter. So thanks so much for being a subscriber. Please like the video so YouTube will show it and other people can get a reading. Be sure to hit subscribe so you never miss a reading because they're usually on time. Sorry about this week. And uh, finally, if you want to give me a tip to help me get through these edits, I could sure use the iced tea. The coffee link is down there. And if you ever need a private reading to talk through some things and maybe get some messages from Spirit, the link is below. You can hit that anytime and I would be happy to do a 30-minute one-on-one reading with you. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate your support. Don't forget on Monday to go grab your copy of Sedona Serenity. It's going to be so good when I'm finished, but I'm not done. So I'm going to go get back to it. Have a great week, you guys. I'm sending you many blessings. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.